All right, so you want to learn how to write a singable, memorable, catchy melody. Well, this is the place to learn how to. I'm going to do that really quick, just show you how to do that, okay? So first of all, you want to remember that a couple of important pointers. Melodies typically come in symmetrical measure numbers. For example, 4, 8, 16, 32. That way you can break your melody up into um, individual segments called phrases. And those phrases are typically equal in length. So if I have a four measure melody like this one right here, I can break it up into two even phrases. Measure one and measure two together, then measure three and measure four together. Now if I had an eight measure melody, I could maybe do measures one through four as one phrase, measures five through eight as one phrase. But think of using small little phrases to make up your melody. I want to also move mostly by steps so that the melody can be singable and not too skippy. And we also want to consider using a home note. A home note is like a starting and an ending place, a resting place. And a lot of times you, you also hit the home note in between too. It gives your melody a sense of home. Finally, you want to make sure you also use a lot of repetition both musically through um, ry rhythms and also through the notes that you use. Let me give you an example. So, here we go. Rule number one. Let's see, using a home note. I'm going to use the home note C. There's a lot of different home notes you can use, but I choose C. I want to come up with a good catchy rhythm. Nothing that's just too boring. Something that has a little bit of character to it. Let's see how I like that. Do, do, day, do, day, do. Now, that's the beginning of my phrase. How about bum, ba, da, 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 ba, bum, bum. Remember, good melodies have phrases, and phrases, at the end of them, you know that they're phrases because they have a musical punctuation. In this case, this is kind of like a comma. Bum, ba, 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 da, ba, ba, bum. It feels like a comma or a pause in the sentence. Okay, let's see how that sounds. Now, good melodies often have repetition. It could be the same notes or it could be slightly different, but definitely want to do some type of repetition. So how about if I go back to here? Bum, ba, 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 dum, ba, ba, dum. What if I took this rhythm and changed it? Ba, boom, boom. Then I took this rhythm right here and changed it. Bum, bum, bum. Let's see. Oh, now we're on to something. Now we want to give it a good saucy title, such as Saucy Title. Then put your composer name because you are a composer. R. Hizzle in the Dizzle. That's my rapper name. Okay, great. So there's my melody. It's a good melody. I can sing along with it, such as Bum, ba, 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 Something you can consider, I'm going to head and click save here, elemental form. Elemental form, I'm going to just write this down for you. Elemental form is a way you could format your melodies um, as far as the repetition goes. Let me give you an example. A, 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 B is a form. Um, a, A, um, B, A is a form. A, A, B, B is a form. A, B, A, B is a form. And A, B, A, C. Actually, I forgot one more thing. A, B, A, B, A, B, B, A, and also A, B, A, C. Okay, let me show you what I'm talking about. So this is my melody as of now. Let me do some doctoring it up. Um, composers don't settle until you find something you really, really like. Let's call this A. If I were to do A, 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 B, I would go like this. Copy, paste, paste, and then do something different here. So A. Now I easily, right there, to make my song a little longer, I could easily add some repeat signs. Repeat in the beginning. A, A, B. Okay. Now, 
Um, I could also go A, A, B, A, something like this. I probably would change this a little bit because this sounds very final and it doesn't end right there. So, I could also do something like this where I slightly change this one so it's not quite A exactly, it's maybe A prime, a little bit different. Now, good melodies often, if I were to do that, I could also take this right here and make it sound more final by ending it on a half note because that makes it feel like it has a period. That gives it much more of a final feel. So that would be almost like an A, A, B, A format, but this is like a slightly modified A, slightly modified A, okay? What about A, A, B, B? That would be, let's see, copy, paste, oh actually let's do, let's do a different B section. What if I did this? Copy this, paste that, and then we'll leave this the same. So this would be like A, B, B, A prime. See how that works? Okay. Now I could also go A, B, A, C. Boom, ba, ba, da, ba, dum, ba, ba, da, ba, dum, boom. Then I can go... This is a very popular one. Boom, ba, ba, da, ba, dum. Then. Boom, ba, da, da. Boom. 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 Maybe I can end on a high C. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Like uh, A. I don't know if I did um, A, A, B, B yet, but that would simply be this. A. Let's see, copy this. Paste. Paste. Copy this. Paste. And by the way, copy is Control V. No, copy is Control C, and then paste is Control V. Again, there's so many options when you're composing a melody. The biggest thing is make it singable, memorable, catchy. You gotta make sure that you love it. If you don't love it, nobody else will. Okay? So make it singable, catchable, uh, whoopsies, singable, memorable, and catchy. Use lots of repetition. You can consider one of these elemental forms A A A B, A A B A, A A B B, A B A B, A B B A, or A B A C to get you going. Um, and that's a great way to start a good, good melody. Have a lot of fun with it. You can do so many different things. You're not bogged down to just these ideas, but this at least will get you started, okay? If you can't remember your melody uh, later on, if you go to bed and you cannot remember how it goes, or if you try to sing along with it and you can't do it, chances are it's not going to get caught in people's head, okay? So think about that. All right, happy composing.